Hey guys, so here's the second part of my um, second video lecture. Um, and we we're just going through some questions. So I did the first four and I just have four more um, that we're going to go through. Um, so number five, what are the main themes of crime and punishment and how have the characters been responding to those themes? This is a great question um, and one that you guys will be discussing in your final project, um, which is posted under class files. If you want to take a look at it now, you guys have an option of three different um, things to do. Um, but I'll explain that a little bit more in a couple weeks when it gets a little bit closer. Um, I mentioned this earlier, but there's a lot of different ways to study crime and punishment. A lot of people go more for the psychological aspect, which is um, something that you absolutely can do and something that we are talking about. Um, but the main theme that I want to focus on is the theme of death and resurrection, especially um, in the Easter season. I I love reading this book. I think it's such a good book. Um, but especially right now, as we're in the Easter season and we're thinking about resurrection and we were just thinking about death through Lent, um, I think that this is at the heart of this novel. And this is actually at the heart of these next couple chapters that you guys are going to be reading with Sonia and Raskolnikov, reading about the raising of Lazarus, right? Death and resurrection. Um, there's like the very obvious um, Raskolnikov murders a woman. There's a physical, actual death. Um, and then kind of the question is, is there resurrection after that? And the broader question is for all people who do evil things, right? That's, that's everybody. Um, when you do something evil, there is a sort of spiritual death. And I think the thing that Dostoevsky is grappling with is, is there a resurrection? Is there, is there hope possible? Because we have these people who are um, in such horrible situations, right? We have Raskolnikov, who is really in crushing poverty. He has to leave university. He's living in a closet, essentially. Um, doesn't have enough money really to pay his landlady. He barely eats. Um, and he has this theory, right, that can he be an extraordinary man? And so he's in a horrible situation, and yet he thinks that there's this way out of it. And not so much monetarily, but he wants to do something great with his life. He thinks he has a great mind. And so he wants to see if he really is an extraordinary man and kill the old woman and get his life back on track. Um, and then we have Sonia, right, who's in this sort of spiritual death as well in her prostitution. And you really, really feel for Sonia because she's not doing it out of um, vice or a love of sin, right? She's doing it out of desperation. There's little kids that are are relying on her so that they can eat. Um, and she loves them so much. And so this next chapter that you're going to be reading, I think is one of the most powerful scenes in this whole book where they talk about um, very overtly this death and resurrection. And with Lazarus, right, he actually died in the gospel and Christ actually brought him to physical resurrection. And so I think one of the main things in this book is can um, hope, can Christ bring these characters to resurrection who are in this sort of spiritual death. So that's really what I want you guys to be focusing on. Um, so right now where we're at, how are Sonia and Raskolnikov um, spiritually dead? And do you think they can come to a spiritual resurrection? Um, and... If you do think so, what would it take for them to come to that sort of resurrection? And do you think they will? On your last quiz, I asked you guys if, um, you know, after talking to Polenka, Raskolnikov thought that he, like, felt life surging through him again, right? Polenka was going to pray for him. And I asked you if you thought that he was going to, um, if he actually was going to mend his ways. And many of you said no which is fair. We haven't seen a lot of remorse from Raskolnikov as of yet. Um, 